Speed of attack. Now, if time is a commodity, ultra high pressure, or UHP, technology is priceless. Speed of attack is one of the first things you'll hear from ultra high pressure users, and it's definitely a game changer and might just be the easiest justification for the technology, especially on a rapid response vehicle or an RRV. Now, while we'll talk details about the science of ultra high pressure and other longer posts, this is really about the advantages that ultra high pressure offers, and one in particular that everyone from homeowners to the occupants of City Hall can understand, and that's speed. Now, if you can get water on the fire quickly, you've just scored a big advantage in the battle. Now, when used on a rapid response vehicle, HMA's ultra high pressure allows you to get out the door faster, get on scene quicker, deploy the hand line faster, and get water on the fire sooner. All of this happens while your other rigs and personnel are on the way, just as they would if you didn't have a rapid response vehicle, okay? Rapid response vehicles equipped with an HMA ultra high pressure hand line have the additional advantage of mobility. Getting down a long driveway, snow covered road, and we are in Wisconsin after all, or to the rear of a structure can happen quickly and more easily. In some situations, your engine can't even access where a rapid response can, allowing for a more strategic, efficient, and effective fire attack. Now, once arrived and committed, the three quarter inch ultra high pressure handline deploys quickly and if necessary, can be managed by a single firefighter. Even with one or two personnel, an aggressive transitional fire attack can be initiated within seconds, not minutes, keeping the fire in check and in some cases, knocking it down altogether. And check it out in action in this video of knockdown in 25 seconds with only 8.3 gallons of water using an HMA ultra high pressure line off of a rapid response vehicle. Now, since ultra high pressure consistently uses one fifth the volume of water of a conventional inch and three quarter line, a solid attack can get underway with limited onboard water, 150 to 250 gallons, while your engine and all the other rigs are in route. Now, in fact, many fires can be knocked back or knocked down, and they're not even there yet. Now, in many cases, your next thing rig is used to mop up and to top off your rapid response vehicle's water tank. Now, the value of time saved on a fire scene cannot be overstated. In that regard, as well as others that we'll talk about in future posts, HMA's ultra high pressure systems on a rapid response vehicle is one of the best investments you can make and one of the easiest to justify.